Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's A Marie where the vibe is peace, love, and prosperity. And before we get started, please make sure that you share, you like the video, and you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you will be notified. So today I wanted to talk to you about fear. Um, and how I allowed fear to stop me from making six figures. Yes, I did allow fear to stop me from making six figures. Uh, let me just give you a little backstory. Basically, during the pandemic, I got commissioned as a notary in my state. Not only did I get commissioned as a notary in my state, but I also got my remote online notary commission as well. So that just means that, um, and I also became a loan signing agent. And you need all of those, you need your notary commission in order to do all of those things, which I obtained. Um, one of the reasons why I thought it would be a good idea for me was because during the pandemic, I struggled with teaching online. I struggled with having to go back into the classroom. Um, I just, there was a lot of uncertainty and I really wanted to um, put something else in my belt so that if something happened with teaching, I had something to fall back on. But I was also really encouraged because I saw a lot of videos on YouTube during that time about loan signing agents and how they were making six figures. Um, I saw a lot of videos and maybe you've seen them too where they're making $10,000 a month, $5,000 a month. And I am here to tell you that that is true. They are making it or they can make it. Now I can't count the coins in anybody's pocket but I can tell you that as a loan signing agent, you can make $10,000 a month. Now there is a lot of grind, there is a lot of hustle with it, but it can be done. So for me, um, there were several motivating factors. And so I went through the process, I got my LLC established, I did all of the things that I needed to get my business up and running and become that loan signing agent well i did that in december of 2020 and i have yet to use any of those certifications now you may ask yourself okay why like if you know you can make 10 grand a month you have the potential to make six figures plus and you have everything in order like why would you sit on that and the answer is fear okay i allowed my fear my insecurity about my abilities to stop me from securing the bag and as i look at y'all i got the fan i'm sorry as i look at my life right now um I'm a little disappointed in myself, but it's okay. Uh, I also want to say too, if you follow me and you've watched my videos about being a medical courier, I also did the same thing. I was afraid to even do that. I let fear stop me from doing that as well. But then I took a leap of faith and just jumped out there and was like, you know what? I am going to go ahead and um, I'm going to jump out there and do this medical courier business and see what happens. Well, it's worked out. Things have been going good. You guys know from my previous videos um, how I'm doing. You know, I enjoy the freedom. You know, I was driving around today just thinking about how nice it was to not have anybody breathing down my back and how I just had the freedom. I was listening to podcasts and my jazz and just, it just was freeing. But anywho, so um, yes, I did not move forward with my notary business because I was afraid. And I, I'm here to tell you that 
I know that we all have experienced fear at some time in our lives and we experience it at different levels. But I want to encourage you that if there is something that you are afraid of, just tackle it head on because nothing beats a failure but a try. You're not going to know whether you're going to be successful or not if you don't do anything with it. If you sit in your head, I sat in my head for over a year and I have now all of those commissions that I have with the exception, like when you become a, um, a notary or a loan signing agent, you have to buy E and O insurance. It's called errors and omissions insurance. And it protects you in case you're involved in a lawsuit. Like those things are coming up for renewal because I paid for it a year ago and then stayed in my head and didn't do anything with it. My National Notary Association membership is coming up for renewal. Never used it. Never did anything with it. You know, um, I even had a business account that I opened up and because I didn't make any deposits into it, they closed the account. And not only did I waste a lot of money, but I wasted a lot of time. And so, you know, I just want to say, don't stay in your head. I think that fear is a normal reaction to some things. I think it, it's not normal when it paralyzes you and you stay stuck. I think that you can move through it when you have a plan, but you got to do it. You have to just take that leap of faith, whoever or whatever you believe in, trust that they are going to guide you in the right direction. You know, there's so many things that we're afraid of, you know, and we always have like, or I'll speak for myself. And guys, I am not by any way, shape or form a counselor. Um, I'm just speaking from my experience, right? And I'm just sharing with you what I had to do to move forward with my fear. So one of the things that I do want to say is when I start having those moments of doubt, I acknowledge it. I think about it for a minute and then I come up with my plan B. So when I have those what if moments, well, what if this happens? Then I also have to say, well, what if it doesn't? Like, what are you going to do if it doesn't happen? Okay, well, what if this happens? Well, okay, the easy way or the easy way out is just to say, well, everything will be done. It's over with. But what if it's not done? What if it's not over with? You, what if you can move on? What if you have another plan and you can move in a, a different direction? So the one thing that I do want to say is the fear stopped me from making that 100K that first year. Or maybe I could have made more. Maybe it would have been a little less. But it definitely stopped me from um, making the money. All right. And um, but the positive thing is, is that I really didn't know how to move around in my state. So I'm, I'm new here. This is not where I'm from. Um, so I really didn't know how to move around. Right. And being a medical courier, I'm all over this area. So I know my way around and that is going to help me with my loan signing agent business, with my notary business. Because now if I get a loan signing and they say, okay, you need to go to ABC, I know where ABC is. So I say all of that to say sometimes that fear can actually be a blessing in disguise. Again, the only time I think it is a real, real issue is when you stay stuck in it. When you cannot move out of that fear, 
that is when it is a problem okay so I just want to um, ask everyone to stay encouraged uh, if you have any experiences or any insight, leave that information in the comments so that other people can read about it or, you know, maybe it'll be a topic that I can touch on again in the future. Um, I do want to tell you that yesterday I, so I began pushing forward with my notary business. I'm not afraid anymore. Okay. I've moved out of it. Um, one of the things that I just shook my head at was a year ago, there are several people on YouTube that I started following. And I watched them when they had five subscribers. I watched them when they did their first loan signing. And a year later, they have blown up. I mean, blown up. Um, the, one of the people that I know, I watch, her name is Martin Notary, Martin's Notary. And that young lady, a year ago, I followed her on her first loan signing. I watched her YouTube when she didn't have any subscribers, when she would upload a video and there was only 10, 15, 20 people watching. She has blown up. And the same thing for this man named Griffin. I've watched him from the very beginning. I watched how, you know, awkward some of his videos were, like mine. You know, I, I listened to his videos and, and drove along with him as he did his first. He has blown up so much. He's coaching people now. And the thing that is hard, it's a hard pill to swallow. Or sometimes you got to sit back and think about it. I'm watching other people secure the bag. I'm spending all my time and energy watching somebody else do what I should be doing. And I didn't have any excuses. I have four printers because you need a printer for the loan signing agent business. And back then, printers were very hard to come by. Um, during the pandemic, you could not find a printer in the stores because everybody was at home. Everybody was working from home, so you couldn't find printers. Paper was hard to find. So every time I had an opportunity to get a printer, I purchased one. I'm sitting on four printers, tons of paper, cartridges I have a whole this whole area behind me is full of nothing but supplies right supplies that I acquired for my business that I never started don't be like me don't allow your fear to stifle your purpose step out of that fear and step into what you are supposed to be doing Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but all you need to do is step out there and see. I was afraid to do a, to be a, mail care, a medical courier, and now I get in my car every day and it's second nature. I had um, um, a training session yesterday with the, the Notarized platform, which is the platform that I'll be doing my remote online notarizations through. You know, and... For a minute, I had that emotion, that feeling came over me, and I said, you know what? The devil is a lie. I got this. I got this. I'm not an idiot by any means. And if I teach myself, if I study, if I do the research, then I can do the job. And I believe that you can too. So... Again, I just want to say that I believe in me and I know that if you're out there and you're struggling and you're going back and forth and you're sitting on something, in order for something to be birthed, you got to push it out there. You got to just push through it. Push through that fear. Talk to people. Uh, write things down in a journal. Start a YouTube channel. Who would have ever thought that I would have that I'd be on YouTube like I never 
imagine that, but here I am. And I've gotten more comfortable and things will get better and better as I do it more often. And that's life period. It gets better as you go through it. So like they say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. I want to wish everybody success. Um, if you feel like there's something in this video that somebody needs to hear, share this with a friend. So that they can be encouraged because that is my whole purpose is to encourage you. Now, I do want to let you know that as I go through my uh, remote online journey and my loan signing journey, I will be documenting that and sharing those experiences with you. Um, if there's anything that you would like me to cover, if you have any questions about um, anything, just Send it, put it in the comments, and I will try my best to um, respond to you. So I hope that this video finds everybody well. And as always, make sure that you love yourself first. Like you really love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself, nobody else will. And with that, I want to wish you peace, love, and prosperity. And I'm out. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening.